take a look at some trending tickers that we have here this morning. Starting it off with Chewy. You're looking at shares falling just around 1.5% after Argus Research downgraded the stock to hold from buy. Now, the analyst behind that call saying that she expects further declines in Chewy's active customers. Uh, Christina Ruggieri is that analyst, lowering her recommendation on the stock. She also went on to say that she expects a substantial investment spending as the company looks to expand into Canada. In addition, she also writes the fact that the stock is trading at a premium to its peer group, and that's based on price to sales and um, metrics that she has seen here. She also anticipates an increase in trading volume and volatility due to some of that shift that we have seen. But again, Chewy shares, they are up on that one-month chart and that three-month chart. They are looking at gains. Some of those evaluation concerns are coming into play with the rise of nearly 40%, Maddie. Yeah, and in the note, she talks about how they have been on a run of over 48% over the past quarter. So that's compared to relatively flat results across the Russell 2000 index. So certainly an outperformer when you compare it to its peers on the Russell. It's interesting that the call is relatively short term here. It's really about the valuations that we're seeing with a name like Chewy compared to what she sees their growth looking like in the next couple of quarters. And that's because they're going to be using some of that free cash flow to reinvest in the company. She talks about how how they are going in on non-discretionary products and services. Those represent 85% of Chewy's revenue. So the company is going to continue pouring into that. They're working on piloting a vet care clinic this year. That's going to be a high margin service, but it's going to cost them a little bit more upfront on the R&D side of things. So that could be a long-term benefit for the company, but in the short term, it is going to lead to some additional R&D spending that might show up on the balance sheet and therefore in their earnings moving forward here. She does also cite the, again, as you said, Shauna, the continued declines in active customers and the weakness in the overall economy, adding this to the list of names that we've seen citing that weakened consumer really starting to buckle under the weight of inflation. I'm curious to see how that shows up in the broader earnings cycle as it kicks off here.